Kia, movement that inspires. And Kadai's mates at Crick's Tweet have stuck on the ground and arriving soon. CFM News Briefing. Houston with your news briefing. The world will pause to watch the Queen's funeral service. It plays out tonight starting with a procession followed by the royal family which will make its way from Westminster Hall with the procession snaking through the city before finally finishing at Westminster Abbey. Hundreds of thousands are expected to line the streets to say one last goodbye while around 2,000 people will be in attendance at the state funeral. The royal family is expected to attend a private burial service early tomorrow morning our time. Back home, a 24-year-old man charged with murder in relation to a fatal stabbing in Mansfield last week has had his matter mentioned in court. It's alleged he was one of four people who attacked the 23-year-old in a car park last Monday. He remains in custody and didn't appear in Ipswich Magistrates Court. No application for bail was made and he's been remanded in custody. The 24-year-old's case has been listed for a committal mention on October 4. Three other men have already been charged with murder. We're being urged to drive safely these school holidays it comes as the state's already seen 215 road fatalities this year. That's up 17 on last year. Acting Chief Superintendent Chris Strain says police will be focusing on the fatal five. Speeding, driving without a seatbelt, drink and drug driving, as well as fatigue and distraction. So that will involve both covert and overt patrols along those routes which we know tourists and people on holidays tend to travel along. And briefly, a man in his 30s has died following a light aircraft crash in the Western Downs region. Tomorrow's car is in stock today. Take a tech drive in a Hyundai Tucson Turbo Diesel and experience innovative tech and all-wheel drive performance. We're waiting to hear more about the bunny side to face the Panthers in their prelim on Saturday. Several stars, including winger Alex Johnston and forward Jai Arrow, are nursing injuries. The coach is confident Arrow, at least, will be right for the Penrith clash. And the Gold Coast 500 track build is underway ahead of the event's return following when a two-year hiatus. Blue skies tonight getting down to 14 degrees. Sunshine on the way again tomorrow, 25 the top, and showers developing on Wednesday. The new season of Hamish and Andy's Remembering Project podcast is now available exclusively on Listener. Download the app and listen for free.